Hello, David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. Well, you can see by the lagoon in back of me that I am at GoldenEye and we are going to be going snorkeling. But it's not any old snorkeling. No, of course not. It's uh, something very different. We're going snorkeling where Ian Fleming would snorkel to get his inspiration to write the incredible Bond books. Yes, right off of his beach, down by his villa, down the steps and out to the coral, the same type of fish, the same path that he would take to get his literary inspiration. And guess what? We're gonna take you with us. So get on your swim trunks, get your fins, no spear gun needed. We'll see you over there. Sounds great. Absolutely amazing. Uh, just teeming with fish. Of course, right now, what you see right here is the rock itself. So iconic in a lot of the pictures that you see Fleming in. Magical. Coming back up from the beach, well, that's when Fleming started his process. 2,000 words a day, non-stop. No stopping, no editing. It's kind of a, a rush of ideas, sort of like his adventures. Dude, are you having a moment? There's definitely a bigness to the, the weight of this place. You can, be, you can feel it.
All right. Whew. Well, you can see why this was so magical to uh, Fleming and why this inspired him. Uh, the reef here is beautiful. The nature, everything. Uh, the beach is so secluded and wonderful. It's no wonder that this just inspired the man to do the work that we so admire today. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to go back out there, check out the fish, see if I can find a, an octopusy. You never know. This has been David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.